hey dolls welcome back to my youtube channel so today i will be doing one of my most highly requested videos on how i make this beautiful lace closure unit using the sewing machine method now let's get straight into the video so this is me practicing on a piece of napkin to see how tight I want my stitching to be. You guys can use anything, grab a piece of paper, a piece of cloth, anything and just practice on. Next, you want to double your wefts, okay? Double them wefts. And the reason for doubling your weft is that if you're using three to four bundles, you want all those bundles to hold on the dome cap or the mesh cap or the wig cap, any cap that you decided to use. So this is a part that you should watch and just watch this part to see how I double my wefts. I'll be back. guys this is what your track should look like when you're finished doubling your wefts together absolutely perfection I have no problem with doubling my weft anyways let's jump into this canvas head so this is a 22 inch canvas head and as you can see I measure from front to back 15 and from ears to ears 15 inches now this is the wig cap that i will be using this is a mesh dome cap you can get this at your local beauty supply store for 2.99 it's stretchy and it's very breathable so you're gonna begin to start placing your wig cap on your canvas head and i'm gonna be placing it at 16 so from front to back is going to be 16 inches So guys when you're placing your lace closure down you should have the hairline passing the cap just a little bit like probably an inch or two um, I like to work with just a little bit next I'm gonna take a clip and clip the hair out of the way so I can see what I'm working with After I finish clipping up the hair, I'm just going to take the pin and pin down the sides to make sure that the closure is flat.
so guys this is the marker that i am working with this is a sharpie metallic marker you can get this from amazon or online just type it in and it will pop up now i'm gonna mark out the outline of the lace closure So after I'm finished doing the outline of the closure, I like to go in with my inch measure and use these as guidelines so when I'm drawing my lines across, my work looks so much neater when I'm sewing. So guys, there's not any wrong or right way to when you're drawing your lines on your dome cap. I'm just going to draw a next line going this way. And then after, I'm going to draw a line here, one here, and one here close to the lace closure. So this is what your lines should look like when you're finished. Next, I am going to remove the lace closure. Other person sew the lace closure on first, but I like to sew it on last. So now you're gonna take the bundle that um, you double the width and you're gonna sew it on the last line at the back and you're gonna begin sewing. But first I like to back stitch and front stitch like four to five times. So after you're finished sewing on the first track, you're gonna go in with your scissors and you're gonna cut the axis off and this is what it should look like. So guys, when you're making your wig, do not stretch the cap. The machine will do the work. Just go ahead and sew, 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 okay? Because if you stretch the cap, it's gonna be baggy and you, your wigs will not lay flat.
so guys this is what the wig looks like after i finish sewing all the bundles on this is the inside construction of the wig as you can see the wig is very stretchy i know my work is very marvelous and we're going to proceed on sewing on the lace closure so now you want to take your wig and place it back on the canvas head After putting back your wig on, ensure that your lace closure is in line with the outline that you made before and make sure that the lace closure is laying flat. So now I'm going to be taking my curved needle and my hair thread, I think this thread is the nylon thread, I'm not sure, yes it is, and I'm going to be hand stitching the lace closure down. So dolls, after we're finished sewing our lace closure down, we're going to go back into the machine and we're going to sew that last strap down where you see the spacing is and this is what the finished look should look like. Now that our wig is finished, you're going to turn the wig inside out and you're going to cut away all that inside cap. Make sure not to cut it too close to where you stitch. And this is the finished look of the wig guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Mwah. Bye guys.